We are two Tuesdays away from the first uh, college football playoff rankings being released. And it strikes me that we're going to have one, maybe if not two, one loss teams raising their hands saying we should be included in this. Who do you think those one loss teams might be? Let's front load the argument that we're going to see in about four to six weeks is essentially yeah, what know, I'm saying to you right now. What's interesting is, Rich, if there was like a doomsday scenario, it would be like an, an A&M win this weekend, and then A&M were to lose to somebody but still go to the SEC championship game, and Alabama would be a one-loss non-conference champ uh, that's sitting there, and everyone would think that they would deserve a spot. Obviously, Louisville is going to have a chance with a one-loss. The loser of Michigan, Ohio State, is going to be sitting there with one loss and have a great argument, having the only loss on their schedule, at least I'm projecting, to be in that game. Um, and then we'll see what happens in the Pac-12. By the way, we still have two undefeateds in the Big 12 that don't get much love at all, but we could be sitting there with a one-loss conference champ, whether it's Baylor or West Virginia. So uh, there's certainly doomsday scenarios out there. I think that the team with – the best argument were it to get to this point with one loss would be the loser of Michigan, Ohio state. Well, and in that regard, you know, my, my compadre, Chris Brockman here accused me of bringing it up the last hour because he's concerned Michigan's going to lose to Ohio state. And I'm already trying to lay the groundwork for Michigan to get a shot at the <laughs> national championship, but the loser of that game doesn't even make the big 10 championship game, Joel. So yeah, that's, that's, that's what's tough. Louisville is going to be in that situation. The loser of this A&M Alabama game is going to be in that situation. And that's where Ohio State was a year ago when, listen, I certainly thought they were one of the four best teams, but I didn't think they were one of the four most deserving. That's where I feel like the language of the college football playoff, Rich, is so poor. You know, they fought, Mike Slive of the SEC fought tooth and nail for it to say the four best teams versus what all the other conferences wanted, which was the four most deserving teams. You know, we want to make this a beauty pageant in college football. I think it's one of the things that is, is wrong with our sport, rather than allowing these kids who don't get paid anyways to go out there and earn it on the field. I, I really don't care who's favored. If you're saying who's the four most, the best teams, we should just have Lake Vegas do the rankings versus the teams that actually go out there and win. Listen, there were games that we wouldn't have won you know, if we played 12 times, we we're going to win one time. But for one 60-minute affair, maybe you're better that day, and that should be rewarded. And so that's one of the things that I feel like the rankings just fall woefully short of. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.